You're like, Ray, what the hell's going on? Let's do our lip gloss and talk about today's makeup look. I think I'm just gonna do white and just leave it at that. So, today is spirit day. I talked about it yesterday. When I said I was gonna go to work today looking like a damn bag of Skittles or Rainbow Bright, I fucking meant that shit. Don't fuck with me okay so this is like the trend i don't know if you've guys seen it on like tiktok or whatever. this rainbow makeup trend has been taking over the internet and i love it when people make up it's like every version of this look i see they're just getting better and better like better and be look at that i love it i'm gonna be honest here i'm scared yeah i don't know if i can do that but we're gonna try um i think i'm ready i think this is giving phantom of the opera on timu oh my god <laughs> so serious like this I'm taking the purple and using my powder puff to start tapping on that pigment which i thought was so smart okay there's no going back now <gasps> the blue oh, green we all know how much i love to skip this one and it was all yellow oh my god 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 this is the most fun makeup day of my life okay moment of truth <sighs> oh 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 my god oh my god i freaking love this i'll take this over latte makeup any day oh it's like the perfect soft easy Grocery shopping look. <laughs> Obsessed. I literally use painter's tape and you tape a strip and you make like a mask and you do like the rainbow colors. So that is what I did. And I put like a whole bunch of sparkles and I have some uh, rhinestones and stuff. I have these earrings. They're like big, funky, loud rainbow earrings because today is wear rainbow for neurodiversity. So, bish. I got that shit covered. So let's run through the colors and stuff. Um, I wanna put this away before I drop it. This is um, that e.l.f. stuff that I just recently got in the silver. So I used that. So of course I taped my face and then I used the uh, white Jeffree Star primer. And the first color I used was from the Bloodlust palette. And I used uh, Blood Queen, which is the purple right there that I used. And I mainly used the Psychedelic Circus palette for this look. Um, so, well, here, I'll show you. The green that I used, I used my favorite color, which was Chameleon Fetish and um, Crocodile Tears. So I used these two greens, this one on the end, and then this light green right there. And I used those two colors and kind of like mixed them. And um, that's like the style that I got with that. And then the psychedelic palette I used for the rest of the colors. Ouch, I used Lava Lamp, Problem Child, Altered State, and Bearded Lady for the rest of that. I even went over top of it with Rainbow Tears, or Tears of Joy, sorry. Tears of Joy, which is this beautiful sparkly color. Um, like sparkly glitter so I put that on top of the mask so I use this color this color this color this color and that and that's my look so and then I used let me get this in here oh gosh oh gosh come on okay that's not usually I just dropped my glue stick I do have a glue stick that I use strictly for makeup and I just dropped it, but um, let me pick it up because I don't. I just cleaned the floor and stuff, and I don't want Brayden going. I used, um, of course, face paint for some of it. I have gemstones. I used the behind the veil or whatever the veil of Jeffree Star's liquid eyeshadow, and I just kind of did like a border with that. And then I put my gemstones and I used the white face paint for the dots. And then I put this, the silver glitter on top of it. And then I just went underneath my eyes and my nose with uh, ice cold in this color. So I just used that and just used a little touch for some sparkle. And I'm like kind of debating on what to do with my hair. I have this. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But, but that's my look. Let's... um. 
spray it. And <sighs> okay, and let's spray some smell goods. Hmm. All right. All right, guys. So now I'm debating on which shoes to wear. Do I want to wear my Hey Dudes? But I don't really have black on, so I think I'm going to go with my tie-dye coppers. Oh my gosh, in the sunlight, it looks so good. <sighs> I think it looks so good. All right. I am definitely recording some TikToks today with this look. And I got my rainbow glasses. Oh. Here comes wifey, the freaking trouble. Fucking trouble. But I'm hot trouble. She thinks she is. Hot pop. <laughs> I may be hot mess express, but at least I'm like a hot mess express with like glitter and confetti. Glitter and confetti where? I'm the fucking glitter queen in this house. Okay, domestic goddess, queen. She's right. She's like, you got the queen part, right? Hell yeah, I do. Ugh. All right, I'm wearing, I told, I swear. I said, I'm coming up in this bitch tomorrow like rainbow bright. Don't test me for rainbow day for spirit day. I was like, I'm gonna come in here like a bag of Skittles. <laughs> they taste the rainbow. <laughs> they gonna taste something. Don't fuck with me. All right. Let me put my lotion on. Even though I put so much lotion on, but my hands get so dry. Like, I wash my hands. You figure... After I get out of the shower and I do all my face stuff and my feet, I put like the lotions and stuff on the feet and everything. I then like, um, do all the stuffs. And then I wash my hands after I feed the cats because I know I'm going to be touching my face and in case there's cat food or something on there. And then like, of course, when I go to the bathroom gotta wash your hands after that and then by then my hands are like all freaking dried out so all right it's almost time to roll wifey is making her coffee i gotta take my daily pictures because you know i gotta post this ish it's fucking cold it feels cold what is the temperature it's 50 degrees um it's supposed to be 70 today I tell you, when that eclipse happened, that temperature dropped. It got so cold, the wind was blowing. I was like, oh my God. All right, guys. I'll see you when I get home in the coffee pot. I need to get my glasses for work. Bye. What is up, my cabinet dwellers? Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Let me get this stuff set up so I can get y'all up in here. Up in here, up in here. What's going on? What's going on guys, huh, huh? I'm like a little hungry. So I did really good for lunch and I just had my little, not even a whole cup of leftovers from um, dinner last night. And then I had a pro a protein bar, and that was it. Oh, I feel like I ate some. My grapefruit. So I had a grapefruit this morning, and I had a grapefruit at lunch. And then I had um, all my other stuff. Also, everybody loved my makeup look today. So I'm, like, kind of feeling myself a little bit. But, yes, everybody was obsessed and I was like yes so cool I had a good time doing it I had fun definitely had fun the kids were like why did you do like there was some of the kids in the grade that I'm with 
for uh, testing and they just didn't get it. Nixie just looked at me. I threw treats on the floor and she just looked at me like, how dare you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you just throw them on the floor? Like, you know I don't roll like that. Come on, Nixie. I'm telling you. But yeah, I got my like little tie-dye shirt on. And you know this is a typical beach tie-dye shirt because two other students had the same tie-dye shirt. One was a jacket and one was the shirt. And I was like, y'all got that down at the beach, didn't you? They're like, yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. It's like, how did I know? So I'm debating, since I took that pork out, I asked hubby because, of course, I can't fucking make decisions because I'm very indecisive. So I had asked, I said, what do you got? I said, what do you want for dinner? I said, you need to tell me. I said, I can make, I said, I have two ideas. I'm either going to do dirty rice with like pork, jasmine rice, peppers, onions, saute them up, add them into the, into the rice, you know, a little bit of cumin, you know, a little bit of seasoning, stuff like that. I said, or I can make sausage balls. And I said, maybe I can serve them up with some jasmine rice or something. I, we love jasmine rice. And he's like, both sound good. He's like, I don't really care either way. I'm like, you're not helping my cause here. I was like, because I can't make decisions. And I was talking to my work bestie. And I was just like, I don't know what to make. So I was telling her my options. She's like, they sound good, but she's like, have you ever made porky pine balls? And I was like, porky pine balls? I was like, what are you talking about? You tripping. You tripping, homegirl. And she said, you take raw, uncooked rice and you mix them in with like a meatball and then you cook them with like a red sauce. And then as they cook and the rice soaks up the um as the rice <sighs> soaks up the um <sighs> fuck what is it the, the sauce as the rice soaks up the sauce then they like get bigger and then she says they start to stick out of the balls and look like little porcupine spikes and i was like oh i was like that's so cool but i was like the only thing problem the main problem with making porcupine balls is that red sauce makes hubby terribly sick so i can't really do red sauce so there's that so but yeah so I can't do the red sauce. Usually when I do stuff, like, and if I do, like, if I do use red sauce, it's usually when hubby says, I want spaghetti and I want to get sick because he knows it's going to make him sick. So. But yeah. So yeah, all right guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Before I get rid of this beautiful makeup look, I am gonna record some TikToks. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And then it's funny, what, uh, what do you guys commented? Did Foodie Booty get rid of her channel or was her channel taken down? But it's not taken down, but it is like really low at the bottom of the list. Like it is low, 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 low. Like I had to, I couldn't even find it. It wasn't even popping up, but I had to go back and I knew where there was a link to one of her videos on um, Discord. So I went there and I clicked it and it took me right to it. But they're not even showing her videos. They're not even showing her videos. So I'm like, that's awful. But yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm 
All right, y'all. I'm going to go. It's funny because they're having like an event at school today, after school. And they're like, are you coming, Miss Ray? I said, they don't pay me to do after school events. So no, no, I will not be here after school. Uh-uh. I absolutely will not. All right, guys. I love you all. I will see you later. I'll check in soon. All right, y'all. Super quick. So I'm a little hungry. So I decided to make a little snack. Oh, my God. I forgot the oregano. Oh, my God. Oh, that's parsley. No. You need the oregano, y'all. Okay, hold on. Let me put the oregano on it. Okay, so I wanted a little snack. I feel hungry. And I used, to, when I first had gastric bypass, I know you're not supposed to eat pepperoni like this. But the first year when I was losing all that weight, I ate this. This shit fills me up. Like I am stuff, stuff. And I usually end up giving some to my son. But it's literally what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces of pepperoni. With some cheese sprinkled on it, a little bit of um, bacon, and then I put a little bit of garlic powder and or oregano, oregano, and I put it in the microwave for like 75 seconds. This gets so crispy. Oh my gosh. And then I always like put layers of paper towels to get the grease, and I have extra paper towels because I'll blot all the grease up, and I try to get as much of the grease out as possible. This is so good. This is like one of my most favorite, 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 favorite things to eat. What is up, my most glorious, wonderful people? There's batteries on the floor. Okay, I need to feed the babies. I need to feed the babies. I need to feed the babies. All right, I'm going to get their dinner sorted and after i get their dinner sorted um i also recorded some tiktoks because i couldn't let this makeup look go to waste but i do need to take it off are my rhinestones most of them have already fallen down and fallen off so there's that <laughs> but um yeah so i think i'm gonna go with oh i need to refill the cat thing too um i'm gonna go did i use this one already no i didn't oh that's why because I'm tripping. I'm going to, um, I need to text my girlfriend to see what time she's picking me up tomorrow. Because we don't have school tomorrow. So, but I'm really hoping that this doesn't stain or else I'm going to be red right there. So, all right, let me feed the cats. And then, oh, I decided on the dirty rice because hubby's like, hmm, that sounds pretty good. So, maybe I'll do meatballs another night. All right, y'all. So, I decided to bust out the chopper chopper for this because I'm going to make dirty rice so um can we commit crimes oh we're saving lives okay that's saving lives so i'm gonna use my little handy dandy chopper this is on amazon this is what my slicer used to be my little slicer blade used to be on but it broke and i can get these replacements but i can't get um the slicer replacements, which is fucking ridiculous. Like, what the fuck? So, this is what I'm working with right now. <laughs> so, I'm going to... Um, let me say... Okay, let me do this. All right. All right, I'm going to chop this a little bit. I'm going to get this out of the way. And throw this away. Oh, excuse me. Ah! That stuck, stuck to my... Stuck to my hands. Okay, so I'm going to chop this. And then to make it easier, I just like make them smaller. And then... Chop because we want small, we want small, small pieces. I actually haven't used this in a while, but. Oh. 
Okay. We got her. <laughs> Actually, I'll cut this in half because that was like a lot. So, these are like really popular on Amazon. Like, I think it's like one of the most popular choppers or something. I don't know. Okay. So, then next, we're going to chop um the peppers all right so let's put actually i'm gonna slice these in half because these can be a pain in the ass to chop because of the skin you know so that's what i usually do is i cut them in half or like open them like open it like that and put them in there and just chop them up okay so i'm gonna chop up some peppers and then we're gonna add it to the pan with the meat all right let's get this puppy rolling we're going to add some butter just gonna add a dollop in there just a wee little bit and then we're gonna get our garlic we got our garlic here add a measurable substantial amount to that okay and now we're gonna add our chopped vegetables look at that see nice nice Get all of them in there. Okay. So now we're going to let this start to cook up a little bit. Um, I have it on medium, a little higher than medium heat. And then um, once it starts cooking, I'm going to add the roll of pork to it okay so i have some water getting ready to boil this is all that i have left of the saffron rice um i have one more bag my mom actually gave me this but i'm gonna use this for our dinner because it is of course spanish rice and this is like more of a mexican dish so once this starts boiling i'm going to put the rice in i'm gonna put the lid on it let that sit this is a uh, very aromatic and it's ready. I'm going to now add my meat log to it. All right, here goes the meat log. I'm so terrible. Maybe I need some meat log tonight. <laughs> terrible. If my husband was down here and I said that, Lord only knows what he would say. And it would probably get me demonetized. <laughs> Whatever he would say. He's so funny. All right. Meat. Sausage is in. This is almost ready for me to put the rice in. I'll check back in shortly. All right, so my pork is pretty much cooked with the veggies. My rice, hot. I'm gonna stir this up. And then it's not 100% done yet, and that's fine because I'm gonna put it in here and it can cook. All right, so I'm gonna add some ground cumin to this. I know I shouldn't add this over Come on. All right. Add some ground cumin. And then I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Gotta watch this tonight. And then I actually have, so this is salsa from Wifey's um, dinner the other night. 
and so it doesn't go to waste we're putting it in here and the last thing I'm gonna add is a can of Rotel tomatoes all right one can of Rotel drained in the pan mix it up we're not adding chase not doing any of that okay all right let's give her a taste of rooney Good. Hubby's gonna like this, but I am gonna turn the heat down and put the lid on it. I'm gonna make sure the rice cooks a little bit more because it's still a little like it's not a lot hard, but it's just a little bit. But so good. Frick mm. them delicious. All right, so I'm going to heat up some uh, tortillas. We have, of course, our zero carb tortillas. And I'm just going to throw some in the toaster oven just to, just to kind of heat them up. Why is this? These are sticking. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's more than enough. So I'm going to put this in the toaster oven. And then I'm just going to like heat these up. I'm going to put them on toast. And then just let them toast and get a little warm. And then I'm going to make bowls or plates or whatever we're going to eat at pie plates. And then have dinner. Hey, hi, y'all. How's it going? Okay, so Brayden has requested a nighttime snack here. And usually I'll just be like, Brayden, go to bed somewhere. Go lay down. But I know that I still have some of this. But this time I'm gonna do it different. Instead of doing like the roll ups, I'm gonna take some of the zero carb tortillas and I am going to, why are they like, I hate that they're stuck together. I'm gonna put them in a cupcake tin and like do it like that. Callie, ain't nothing for you. Why is it? This one's like all ripping. They got smooshed. That's part of the problem. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. Okay. So I'm gonna do them different. Same thing. It's literally the same stuff from yesterday, but I'm gonna put them in the muffin pan. All right, let me get a spoon. Okay. So I'm gonna mix this up. It's a little discolored, but I think that's just from the bananas. And I'm gonna put a dollop in the middle 
Oh, I can do one more. I'll do one more. Damn it. I'm going to leave that on there. It ripped. All right. Okay, so I got three dollops out of that. Let's see. Let's see, does it still taste as good today as it did yesterday? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. Same thing. Got my chocolate chips and my Reese's peanut butter chips. We're going to put them ooh, on top. This one don't have any. We want some chocolate up on there. They're delicious. And there's not many of these left. These lasted a while. So we got them in there. Now I'm going to put these in the air fryer. Here is what they look like. Nixie is nothing for you. All right, I'm going to put them in the air fryer, let them cook. I already have hubby's lunch packed. Wifey has plenty to take for lunch. And I don't have to pack my lunch. Because I'm going out to lunch tomorrow. So... There's that. All right. So I'm gonna put these right in the air fryer. Power, air fry, and just start 20 minutes. It's probably not even gonna take 20 minutes, but that's what we're gonna do. I'll check back in with you in a minute because I'm gonna wash these dishes. All right, I just took them out of the oven. They're sizzling. Focus. No, don't want to focus. Eh, well, whatever. They're out of the oven. Let's see how easy these bad boys. Oh, look at that. They come out so easy. Look at that little like banana cups Ugh. of course this one wants to be a pain in the ass <laughs> there we go i think i like them better in the cups let me go put this in the sink I really wish I had some um, Cool Whip. Look at him. weirdo all right my most beautiful people it is actually kind of late i'm not gonna say how late it is but i wanted to do some would you rather questions and then i'm gonna make my protein shake and then i'm gonna go to bed because i still have to get up early tomorrow i'm not gonna tell you what time it is because it's late <laughs> all right what is the date for today oh it's my bum i got a text my friend it's her birthday oh actually i should do that i'll do it in a minute okay would you rub off go on a date with a governor or a mayor neither decline i'm gonna write 
decline to both because I don't want no parts of that. Watch fireworks, 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 fireworks. I am obsessed with fireworks. In the summertime, I don't like backyard fireworks, but I love going to shows and going to fireworks. Watch only your favorite TV show or never watch TV again. I rather not watch TV again. I don't watch TV as it is. I watch YouTube. That is like literally my life. My <laughs> guilty pleasure, I've said it before, is Girl World. Chantel, I don't really watch Amber anymore. Is that show canceled yet? Is Amber Lynn canceled? Um, but yeah, so I don't watch, like, and Foodie's just kind of, if she legitimately goes back to Kuwait, I never really watched her anyway. Every now and then I would give her views because I would record her chat. Her chat is always like lit, you know? You really gotta pay attention to that. Okay. Be someone else or just stay you. I am gonna stay myself because 15 minutes, or f 15 minutes of fame or 30 minutes of wealth. Give me the 30 minutes of wealth so that way I could pay my bills, find a house, get that done, and I'll be good. Be extra sensitive. I'd rather not. Okay, it says, I was going to write answer before I even read the rest of it. Be extra sensitive or not be sensitive at all. Not be sensitive at all. Just for a little bit. Like, I have lived my whole life. I am, like, empathetic. I sympathize and all that. Just, can I get some a little bit relief? Like, where is my bitch days? Like, where is my bitch era? Like, that's what I need. Like, I need a fuck you, don't give a fuck. Like, I'm all big and cocky and I, like, act like I got... Mm. Anyway. <laughs> ha would you rather have your partner or your employer look through all your texts and chat? Oh, would you rather have my have your partner or your employer? It don't matter. I don't care either. It's a draw. Would you rather be with someone who is afraid to lose you or be with someone you are afraid to lose? Oh, that's hard. Because I feel like if you're with somebody who's afraid they're always going to lose you, they're going to be like super extra. And as of right now, as it stands, I don't know how I would feel about that. Only for the simple fact, like I used to be a very lovey-dovey, um, hands-on, like hug and kiss and all the time. Hubby's not like that. And it was very hard. Now, I'm like that with my son. I'm very lovey-dovey with my son. I give my son several hugs a day. I give him kisses, you know, like... I sh and I'm very affectionate. That's the word I was looking for. I used to be very, very affectionate. I used to love to snuggle and I used to like to cuddle and things like that. Hubby, <clears throat> like the little bit that we would, we would do it. When wifey moved in, that was it. It stopped. Like, he used to smack me on my ass. He used to give me a kiss every time before he left the house. Then wifey moved in, everything stopped. Like, what little bit of affectionate that I, or affection that I did get from hubby completely stopped when wifey moved in. So, all right. Would you rather be with someone? Okay. So, I don't know, because then I feel like if I'm with somebody, I'm afraid to lose. I feel like. I would just be like that. So maybe I'd rather have them, but then it's like I know how it feels, but then I'd always have to reassure them. That's a hard one. I just put I'd rather be with someone who's afraid to lose me because it'd be nice to have this shoe on the other foot, I guess. Because I'm always afraid to be like lose. I don't know. Live forever and watch all your loved ones die or die first. Uh, live forever. Sorry. Sorry. I'd rather live forever. I'm so, I'm at this point I'm like still afraid of 
even though I know that there has to be an afterlife, it just, I don't even, I don't even want to think about it. Live forever, but with really bad breath, or only live 70 years with, uh, give me the bad breath. Give me the bad breath. They make Tic Tacs and gum. Be with someone who is extra pessimistic or extra optimistic. I'd rather be extra optimistic because I'm very optimistic about stuff. Go to church. Nope. <laughs> Go to church for seven hours for one day or one hour for seven days. You know what? Just do it all in one day and get it done and over with. Not be able to taste sweet or only be able to taste salt not be able to taste sweet or only be able to taste salt not be able to taste sweet because i have a sweet tooth and that would fucking help me okay if my sweet tooth would just magically fucking disappear hallelujah like i'm terrible i do i have an extremely extremely bad sweet tooth and um that's why i love all these alternatives like the chocolate covered nuts and like all the protein bars and stuff like that because they're really good alternatives especially the built puffs they're my favorite but yeah so i'd rather not be able to taste sweet i thought oh i think we did get a box but now they're gone free coffee or free movies coffee um hello have you been to my channel free coffee fee yeesh Let's do more. Okay, free pizza forever or free hamburgers? Ooh, free hamburgers. I love hamburgers. Only dance to pop music or never dance again. Uh, I can never, I could never dance again. Well, I circled it, but I don't know if I really mean that. But I don't want to listen to just pop music because then that means our only dance. So. Cause let me tell you, I get it at gym. I have to damn full. And I'm dancing. I do. I dance in the gym. Like, I totally forget where I am sometimes. Only shop at a store you hate or never shop again. Ooh, give me a, at least some shopping. I'd rather only shop at a store I hate. Like, I hate the store, but at least I'm out shopping and I get that. A dopamine rush or that dopamine fix. Sleep on the floor, floor or suspended on the wall. Floor? Hello? Have dog food or cat food with every meal? Um, that's gross. I'm gonna pick dog food because Rachel Ray has like all that frozen stuff that's made with like no preservatives. So maybe that would be the safer option. Clean your ears with a washcloth or cotton swabs. Cotton swab. I always clean them every morning when I get out of the shower because that's when all that stuff is like nice and like loosey goosey and stuff. So I just learn swords or lances. Swords. Ride a skateboard or a scooter. Give me a scooter because my balance is shit. Bike everywhere or only be able to take public transportation. Give me to public transportation. At least I'm getting somewhere. Not know how to ride a bike or not know how to swim. Not know how to ride a bike. Because swimming, I love to swim. Y'all remember last summer all them damn poolside live streams? I'm doing it again this year. Read a hardcover or a paperback. Uh, I like hardcovers. Be a pirate or a ninja pirate. Short or tall. Can I just be average tall? Be world famous magician, but none of your magic is real or a small town, small town. It says, but be a small town magician, but all your magic is real. Only be able to write in red ink or never be able to use pens again. Some of these questions are, I don't care if I never have to use a pen again. They have pencils. Perpetual swimmer or perpetual winter? Or perpetual summer, perpetual winter. Ooh. Give me 
the summer because as much as I don't like summer, you still will get cool days and you can go swimming. You can go swimming, but that means I wouldn't get fall. And fall is my favorite season. So, I love these. Okay. Only speaks, uh, only speak in Shakespeare language or never speak at all. Never speak at all. No, why did I say that? Because I could like to talk. Only speak in tongues or only speak in Latin? Give me Latin. I think Latin's pretty cool. Live in ancient Middle East or ancient Mexico? I guess the Middle East? I don't know. Be a Greek god or a Roman god? Ooh. I want to be both. Okay, I'm just going to put Roman because I don't care either one. Get lost in Atlantis or the Bermuda Triangle. Atlantis. Because that's a good hotel. See where I'm going with that? Use metal tweezers or plastic tweezers. I always use metal tweezers. Repeat the 6th grade or the 12th grade. 6th mm, grade. Be 17 year old forever or 70 years old forever. 17. Because then my body's not all fucked up. Have messy handwriting that everyone can read or gorgeous handwriting that no one can read. I already have very messy handwriting, so that's what it is, believe it or not. Write books or make movies? Well, I kind of make movies. I make daily life movies, but I do like to write. Well, I wrote, I think, I know I've told this story before. I wrote a children's book when I was like a teenager. It was called The Flower Caper. I know I've talked about this story before, but it was about this little bitch. <laughs> it was about this little snotty snooty girl and she, it was like a kid's like flower show. And this little snotty girl was like, she had the like most prized roses. And like to the point where like her roses were like showcased like all these places around the world. And there was like a little like 4-H type show coming to this little teeny tiny town. And all the kids wanted to like participate in this like garden show. And um, some of the judges like these gr like girls were like working hard on um, like working hard on all their like flowers. Like they had gardens outside. And that's where the one girl had like all her roses was outside in her garden, but it was like had like really high fences and stuff. And the neighbor was like really jelly over. I, I'm telling you, I remember this whole fucking story. So the, the girl that lived next door was like really freaking jelly about and she wanted to win. She's like, man, I don't the only thing I don't remember is what kind of flowers she had. I don't remember if it was tulips. I'm pretty sure it was tulips because I didn't know many flowers back then. So I'm pretty sure they were tulips. <laughs> I don't I don't remember 100%, but I didn't know many flowers back then. But I knew tulips and I knew roses. So she wanted her tulips to win and everybody loved her tulips. But they weren't like they were not as good as the roses, but they were like second like you know but she didn't she was tired of being second she wanted to be first so she went in in the middle of the night and she climbed over the fence and dug up all of her rose bushes and then like took them somewhere in the woods i don't remember where she took them but she took them and she hit them and the um the the flower event and judging event was like coming soon or whatever like it was like days away and she stole them and then and I guess because I I could like I was sneaky as a kid so I was like putting like my own spin on it on stuff like I remember in the story I wrote that she like had an extra set of clothes like she took an extra set of clothes with her so she wouldn't bring the dirty clothes home so nobody would know like she wouldn't have like dirt and like shit all over her and um so then like she woke up she went to bed she woke up hearing the neighbors scream i don't even remember their names 
but she like screamed her flowers were gone and this and that and blah 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 and um and she was like so proud of herself like aha fuck you bitch not she didn't say that but i'm just saying like she was just like haha you know screw you I'm going to be the best and da, da 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 And then the talk was all around the town was, of course, about this flower caper and um, or the garden caper or whatever it was. And um, and like the one the girl, one little girl they were all talking about now, they were starting to focus on her or on her tulips, I guess, or whatever. And so she was like getting all happy and stuff. So then she um, like, again, just a few days, like right before the right before the event she saw her crying in her garden she saw her crying in her garden and then she had a change of heart and she felt like so sad and she like walked over and started talking to her and she was telling her like what the roses meant to her and like why she took so much pride in her roses and I think I put like some sentimental story about like her grandmother dying and then it was like her grandma like I don't know whatever so then this made the bit the the little salty bitch like a second guess everything and then she went and then the next day she never admits though this is the thing she never owned up in the story what it was and she was riding her bike and she's like and she went to where the where she had the flowers like hidden in the woods or whatever and um she went and she came back home and she had told her my mom like she like pretended like she found them she like she found all these flowers and she found her flowers in the woods and um so she went and she told the neighbor and they like all went and like grabbed all the roses and like they hurried up and they like replanted them and stuff like that the only thing is though that she never owned up to doing it she never owned up to doing it because they never knew to that day but like the whole story was that she lived with like this guilty conscience for like the rest of her life or something like that and that she would never cause anybody pain again some shit like that but yeah I, the, I wrote that when I was a teenager and I still remember it it was funny because before we moved before I moved to my godmother's house I uh, was going through stuff and I found the story but I think my mom threw it out but I did have it up until I was like in my 20s like I wrote it like when I was like 13 or 14 or something like that and it was just like for fun like for free writing and stuff so okay would you rather play a character you hate in a movie you love or a character you love in a movie you hate well, if I love the movie, then I love all the characters, good and bad. Okay. Start each sentence with hashtag or LOL. Oh, hashtag, because you can kind of get off of that. You can be like, hashtag. Oh, would you rather go to the beach during a hurricane or the mountains during a blizzard? Mm, definitely not a hurricane. I'd rather be in the blizzard. Go to the beach in the winter or frozen tundra in the summer. Um, I'd rather go to the beach in the winter. Because depending on what beach you go to, it's not going to be that cold. Like, if you go to Ocean City, Maryland in the winter, it's going to be cold. But if you go to Florida in the winter, it's not going to be that cold. It's going to be like 70 or 80, but we're going to think it's hot. So I'd rather go to the beach in the summer. Okay, last one. Be a queen leading a monarchy or a president leading the country. Um, just because I want to be queen, let's lead the monarchy. Bam! Because we can be a new rise of queens. Fixing each other's crowns without announcing to the world it was crooked. Mm. Let's go make our protein shake. <laughs> Let's go make the protein shake. Brayden really likes these banana things. So I used the rest. So yesterday when I made them, I made two. I used two bananas. I didn't measure anything. I just slapped. And I know the only thing I measured was the, um, was the, uh, cream cheese because that was like a one ounce little thingamajiggy. <laughs> Be sure 
where'd that come from? Let's turn. Baby, turn the lights down low. We ain't gonna listen to her. Don't you understand? Mm, I am such a night owl. I love nighttime. Add water? What the fuck, man? Why do I need to add water? Oh, my aching rectum. Oh, my God. So, on my store, um, my Don't Be a Dick design got declined and got rejected and deleted from Spreadshop. So... I can try to adjust it. And it said that the background had to be off or had to be like transparent. But the other one wasn't like that. I don't know. So I really need to download Makerspace so I can make my stuff. I want to make merch for the raised bakes. And it said something about copyrighted. It's not copyrighted. I designed it myself. Unless they're talking about the letters, but I don't see why the letters would be copyrighted. I don't freaking know. So I need to, I need to download the makerspace for my Cricut. So I need to work on my Etsy store. I'm going to um, make some earrings. I'm going to do hoops with like little things on them and stuff. Um, I bought some stuff from Etsy, but I didn't buy a lot. So I don't know. We'll see. And then, um, but I also want to make some stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. But... Binkies is down here waiting for me. I think I love them. Oh, here comes Dory. I need to make a little list of stuff I need to get at um at the store tomorrow. I need to get hubby's um cheese sticks. Um I need to text myself a list. I need to get Hubby's cheese sticks. I need to get my um, coffee creamer. Oh my God, why do I have to pee all of a sudden? I also did an order tonight for um, skinny syrups. I got some new flavors. They had some like new stuff. All right, I have, let me make this real quick because I have to pee like really really bad like I hate that shit it just fucking hits me look he's laying down here he's just as bad alright I know I have a drink upstairs and you know what else I'm trying really hard not to like nibble at night too so there's that alright guys what do you want All right, I need to close these windows. All right, guys. I love you all oh so, oh so, oh so very much. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind. Because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. Okay? Okay, thanks. Love you. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you all oh so, oh so, oh so very much. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog. Bye.